Hello, welcome to a brief Gen X example. In this video, I'm going to convert Morel's Elena, a decent Scarlett Johansson clone for V4, to Genesis using Gen X. Gen X has a lot of capabilities, but I'm going to use the simplest approach, converting a whole character over, resulting in a full character preset instead of separate head and body morphs. I'm only scratching the surface of Gen X, but it's one of the most common uses. My primary setup has a content library on the left and the Gen X tab on the right. Uh, let me add the Gen X tab and we'll go and select transfer to where we want to be. This layout is just for doing conversions since there's almost no main screen. So before I can convert anything, I need to bring in the base figure. So there's a drop down over here which lets you select the base figure, but it doesn't get populated until you've added the base figure at least once. So we find it over here in the content library Poser, Figures, Daz People, Victoria 4.2. We drag her over to here, and it imports. This takes a little bit. Most characters require Morphs++, plus plus, and this one's no exception. So, in the content library, it's time to go to the Pose folder. We're going to find the Daz Victoria 4 Morph Injections directory. Daz Victoria 4. Morph Injections. See here, Morph Injections. Here we have the Morph Injections directory and Inject Morphs for V4. So we're going to drag that over to here, add that one in. We should have everything we need to convert a character. Sometimes you'll need the Elite Morphs or Muscles. It all depends on what the character requires. Usually you'll find that on the character's store page or in their reading. So for example, this one here has uh, the requirement of Victoria plus plus morphs. Also down here it says required products. Try 4.2 morphs plus plus. And this takes a little while. So now that we have morphs plus plus loaded, let's find MRL Elena. As a morph for V4, she's also in the pose directory, just down the tree slightly. Let's see if we can come through here. Elena. Um, now there's a separate injection for head and body. Um, but, as I said at the beginning, my goal here is a single character, so I'm going to drag both of them over to Gen X. I'm also going to leave out the nipple morph for now, but if, you'd want to, if you wanted to include it, you'd just drag it over, also. There we go. That's the pretty simple part. Now, over in the Gen X tab, we have a bunch of little sections. I always select Compress generated files, transfer controlled transforms, and transfer dial groups. Um, up here, I also choose create a single morph because, as I said before, I want a single character out of this. Here's the important one what morphs to select. I choose transfer on for all non zero values. This selects only the morphs which have had their values set by the Elena character, since both V4 and Morphs create zeroed morphs for their settings. Now, we're going to make a quick skim through the morph list to make sure that some got set, both in the head, there we go, and the body area. This is the body area. Um, and you can see that a lot of those got set. And go back up and close that, and then look at the head. And now we see um, some settings in here for that. All right, so some things have been selected. Uh, you'll notice they're the ones which have values over here. Uh, everything else is zero. So we're going to leave that alone. In any case, now we're going to click transfer. This starts up and does the actual transfer operation. And then we have these properties to set. Now, this first one is really just the file name that it's going to end up being stored as. I'm going to call this mrl Um The name is what's going to show up as visually. And so I'm going to call this Scarlet. Although I'd usually recommend just using the same name as the underlying character. I, uh, I do want to create an icon. I want it to fit the 91 by 91 uh, thumbnail. Otherwise, you'll get some unpleasant overflow. I'm going to hunt the morph down by uh, clicking on File, Elena. There we go, Elena. And let's go ahead and use the PNG for head injection. And all the rest of this is good. Um, and let's accept this. There, it's saved as a shaping entry, although you won't find it in the shaping list just yet. Now, at this point, I could go up here, reset the morphs, reload V4, 
and Morphs Plus Plus and do another character. Instead, I'm going to exit Dad's Studio and restart it, which I'm going to do with the magic of editing. I do this because, usually, the new shaping entry doesn't show up until you've restarted Dad's Studio. It's a little annoying, but it generally doesn't affect me badly if I'm doing a batch of characters at once. You should do one at a time until you're confident in the flow, which will be more annoying, but safer. Now that we're back in, we need to load up a Genesis. I have a pre-clothed one just for this. Now that we have a Genesis, switch to the Shaping tab. We're going to filter for Victoria, and we want to apply 100% Victoria 4. There we go. Now, we're going to then pull that off, and we're going to go to Generation X, under the Victoria 4 section, and down at the bottom of this, our Scarlet. You see it's got the icon that we selected. And we're going to dial this up to 1 on this. There we go. And now we have a grayish blob that looks like the MRL Elena character. To finish this up, we should put the skin on the character. And that's going to be back in the Poser Format Library Pose. The Elena character is going to have the uh, textures that are going to make it look a lot more like the character. There we go. There's Elena. And we have here Poser Daz Mats. I'm going to select that. I'm going to take the basic Elena mat and apply that. There we go. And now we want to uh, maybe pick a different eye color as the default that's going to go with it. I'm going to like this, so i select that. Now we have a character. We have the shapes, we have the textures that have been applied to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Save As. We're going to go down to Character Preset. That's going to save out the shape and the material that's been applied to it, so I can just load that character in at any time in the future that I want to. I have a directory that I typically use under Presets. See here, it's under uh, presets, characters, and I'm going to put in Scarlet. I'm going to save that out. Now, it's asking me for the shape settings and the material settings, and since those are the things I just set up, that's what I want to save. It means I do want to compress the file. I'm going to accept that, and it's going to save that out. It takes a little while. Now, if you want to load this character back up again, then you can swing back out to Daz Studio Formats, My Library, and then under Presets, down here, there is the Characters, and you'll find under there is Scarlet. And then you can just double-click this and load that character into your scene again. And just to show what it looks like um, in comparison to an, a, a Victoria 4.2, I've, uh, through again the magic of editing, um, loaded up a V4.2 and the Genesis with uh, Elena right next to it. Um, this over here is V4.2. This over here is Genesis. And you can tell by the face, they look very, very similar. Um, won't go over the whole body, etc., but um, it basically looks very good. Uh, now that's the core of how I use Gen X. There's a lot more depth in the product, and I typically only scratch the surface of it, but I've been very happy with how it works. If you've liked this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also feel free to visit uh, 3dwishlist.com slash demo to see all the current discounts on Daz 3D store items, but really have a wonderful time converting your characters to Genesis. Uh, it's been kind of awesome for me. Thank you.